This viral list says you need these 10 vegetables every week, but the science isn't that simple. Let's break down what's legit and what's just dietitian fluff. Arugula is a win. It's loaded with folate and glucosinolates, both linked to lower cancer risk and better cardiovascular health. And it's got carotenoids, which are great for eye health. Solid choice. Butternut squash checks out too. One cup gives you almost half your daily vitamin C and a solid dose of beta carotene. That converts to vitamin A, which supports vision and immune function. Carrots are good, but the cancer claims Meh. The article says they reduce leukemia and pancreatic cancer, but that's based on weak observational data. They're still a great source of beta carotene, but not a miracle food. Onions are underrated. They're rich in quercetin, a flavonoid shown to lower blood pressure and reduce oxidative stress. Just don't over peel them. The outer layers have most of the antioxidants. Brussels sprouts crush it. High in vitamin C, K, and fiber, and full of anti-inflammatory glucosinolates. They've actually been linked to reduce inflammation markers in multiple studies. Mushrooms, kind of. They're great for B vitamins and ergothionine, which is a powerful antioxidant. But unless they're UV exposed, most store-bought mushrooms don't have much vitamin D, despite what the article suggests. Potatoes, criminally underrated. They're one of the best sources of potassium out there. Key for blood pressure control. Just roast them or steam them. Bell peppers, absolutely. One red pepper gives you more vitamin C than an orange. And they're full of carotenoids linked to heart health and disease prevention. Green peas are a sleeper pick. Eight grams of plant protein, tons of fiber, and B vitamins. Pea protein's been shown to boost satiety and support muscle building. Beets are the real deal. Their nitrate converts to nitric oxide, which improves blood flow and endurance. That's why you see beet juice in endurance sports. It works. So, do you need all 10 of these every week? No but they're nutrient dense and mostly science backed. The real key is variety. Eat across the color spectrum, mix it up. That's what actually drives better health. 